fuck niggas getting money became the anthem Cause she was a hustler Hustler She was a hustler Hey y'all, welcome to my channel Welcome back If you're an OG subscriber, my name is Jay And I go by Lipstick Junkie here on YouTube And today I'm back with another video so in today's video, I'm just going to basically be doing a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial using the products that I have accumulated over the last like month, I would say. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, then you would not know that I am not a hype beast when it comes to makeup. I buy as I'm ready, not as they come out. <laughs> so um, a lot of these products I either got from Marshalls, Juvia's Place, Ulta, or Amazon, but I will have everything in the description box below. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything. I feel like it was some things I need to tell you guys before I start the video. Oh, I don't have a mic. I don't have a mic. I re recently just ordered a mic and I'm actually down a light that's missing from right here. Um, but I hope it does not affect the video quality at all. I hope you guys can hear me well and see me even better. Um, so yeah, I apologize for that, but let's get straight into the video. Okay, so... Like I said, this will be majority new products. I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to make it to where everything I am using is new. However, um, as far as like basic powder, I didn't get besides the bare minimal, bare minerals, bare mineral and Juvia's place. So I'm gonna still take my air spun, needless to say. I said all that to say. I'm still gonna be taking some old products, basically. Okay, and I'm gonna go into the LA Girl Slim Shady. It's really called Slady Sh Shady Slim, but I like calling it Slim Shady because you know, Eminem. But anyway, brow pencil in the shade Warm Brown. And I do need my brows, you know, a little tin. They, they need a little sprucing up, but that's okay. So we ain't gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna talk about it. that it comes with on the other end and I'm just going to brush the hairs up like how I normally do. Now one thing I love about these brushes are how precise they really are. I'm not really sure what I was doing before with pencils that you still have to sharpen <laughs> because these just make it so much easier they do pull your hair out a little bit but i think that's because i'm just heavy-handed maybe i don't know i haven't heard anyone share that similar experience but i am a bit heavy-handed so that may be why my hairs sometimes come off with the pen because i don't think that's supposed to happen love it then i love the little brush it comes with it's the perfect size to just do what you need to do because I'm not into really big spoolies. So yeah, I do really like that. Now, as far as concealer, honestly, I'm not sure what shade um, this Juvia's Place concealer actually is. Ooh, these things fat. Dang, I didn't really not realize that those were that fat. Okay, that wasn't even the one I really was trying to get let's see okay so this kind of looks like my camo concealer I have now so I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Magic Concealer in the shade 18 to conceal the brows Okay, I'm gonna 
not even sure why why I did it because I know that I'm not gonna want that to look like that. So I'm gonna go into the Juvia's Place Eye Magic Velvety Matte Foundation, like I say, in Puta. Now I don't, I don't remember because this has been out for a while. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like watery, but the Juvia's Place concealer is giving me a little water. Maybe I was supposed to shake it up a little bit. I don't know, but it's giving me very much watery. But I can't wait to see the consistency and what it's like on my actual skin. So we shall see. consistency so far like it's not too thick to blend out so maybe that's why it's like water maybe it's water based I don't know don't quote me I have no idea um yeah I don't know but I actually do like this consistency and I like this shade it's not giving me too bright but too dark it's like a perfect combination of the two and i'm not sure if y'all can really see the um shade true color because of the lights so of course they don't have names why i don't know i hate when eyeshadows don't have names but i'm gonna go into like this berry one first that i have obviously used like um dark as i thought it was going to be so i'm gonna just take that purple shade and i'm actually going to go in with that to kind of mix that in a little bit because i do want it to be a bit darker yes sir that's what i'm talking about then i'm going to take the pink shade and i'm gonna blend it out with that pink as my transition just to blend it out a little more and so that it's not as harsh I think this is the only concealer, well, besides the Maybelline. I'm just gonna take the Juvia's. Even though I'm not sure how that's really gonna work out, but I'm just gonna try and see. 
Okay, I zoomed in a little more. Y'all should be able to see it a little better. So freaking pissed. Okay, so yeah, that looked a mess. I'm back, I'm better. Not sure what happened, but we back. So I did recut my crease with the Photo Face Concealer by Ardell in Light 1.5. I'm not blaming the Juvia's Place at all. It was a mixture of me using a new product, me having the wrong brush, and yeah, I don't know. That it just happens to me sometimes to where I actually can't get my crease to my desired look. Why I don't know, but. It does happen. So, um, I'm actually like a little nervous to set it again because that just was a disaster. So, I think I'm going to, because I do want to do like a pink. Um, I didn't really want to do like purple. So, actually, I'm going to see if I can just take the pink that's in here and use it. So now on top of that, I'm going to see if I could take this shimmer shade from Juvia's Place, which is actually really, really pretty. That is gorge. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it has like this iridescent type of vibe. the liner like I said I will have it linked below I'm gonna try my best to like get up in the camera but y'all know how I be doing with liner I just I just gotta do it just a little more defined um it's not as defined as i think it should be it's like just a little it's like more on the fat side instead of pointy defined sharp and all that but other than that it's cool it works good it dries fairly quick but it's easy to work with so yeah bomb i'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye now I'm going to go into the Ulta Beauty Coreless Face Primer Mineral Oil Free and it's supposed to smooth and refine the pores. Um, I do, y'all know I love a good sample, so I'm not one of those um, MUAs that will go out and spend a whole bag on products. We're not doing it, sweetie. I need to see what that product can for before I spend my coin. So I did just get um, I did get the sample 
because a lot of people are always raving about like Sephora brand and Ulta brand and how they have such good products. So I definitely wanted to try one of Ulta's actual products. And I'm just gonna blend that out with a fluffy brush. For a color corrector, I know I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter, and it's supposed to have, oops, I ain't heavy. Zang, okay. Oh, this does not have color corrector. <laughs> Maybe for white people, but. I'm confusion. What? It's just one thing, right? Why is it saying that it's... I'm confused. Oh, snap! Okay, now I see why she was a good 20. Okay, so we have creams and we have powders. My apologies, white people. I'm sorry. They do have black people color corrector in here as well. Cause I'm sitting here like, wait, this is hella heavy. Then I'm reading the box. On the box, I see the powder at the top, the liquid, the my bad. I'm sorry. So we do have. Oh, I like this. I hope I like the formula as much as I like this product. So yeah, cool. Let's go into this orange. <laughs> And I'm not gonna take a whole lot because I was up in Ulta putting this on my like my skin with my finger. And when I tell y'all that junk blended out so good with my finger, so I know with a brush it's gonna go crazy. <music> And I do believe mine is broke. <laughs> and I'm gonna just pat that foundation out. Crappy Patty secret because why this got my skin looking like this? Of this formula, I really honestly don't think it would be that bad if I didn't set it. Y'all know just because of my skin type, I normally have to set it. But I'm gonna go into the Julius Place concealer in the shade 18. Now, it wouldn't be a nasty little lipstick junk tutorial without the Camo 16 Hour Concealer in the shade Light Sand. I'm gonna just put some of that in the middle because I do want that little pop of highlight. Then I'm gonna take my favorite, 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 favorite product I've been sleep on, the um, Real Techniques 402 setting brush and Taylor May Jane told us a long time ago that this was the goat and she was right. Oh y'all I really like this consistency and I mean I did mix okay 
So as far as my direct under eye, I did mix in the e.l.f. But I mean, under here is just the Judy's Place, how it looks by itself. Mmm, this feels so good on my skin. Deeper tones can give me like a muddy look. Um, so I probably should have did like eight or seven. Um, and I could have went into the L'Oreal Infallible, but um, yeah, nah, let's just leave it alone. <laughs> because I don't know what that'll do to it. And I'm not starting over again, okay? I'm not doing it. Now I'm gonna try to set it with the full spectrum powder. Hopefully that'll, okay. Yeah, so that brought it back to life a little bit because yeah, I wasn't liking the way that that, that wasn't looking good to me. I love the most about this foundation is that it's very true when it's saying that it's full coverage because I just had a whole slip up with some mascara and fix it and you literally can't even tell that it's there so i was trying to set my face with the juvia's place setting powder but i'm honestly not sure what i did with it so i'm just gonna go into the bare minerals one and this is in the shade light oh i like this this isn't just um oh this thing like a pill bottle and instead of taking my Real Techniques brush like I normally would, I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender just because I actually want this to blend out a little differently than I normally would. And that's just because of the way that the contour is looking. Ooh, this power, girl, yes. isn't normally what I would go for. I definitely would go for something that's a little lighter, but I'm not like tripping off of it at all. Like I actually don't mind it. Um, I don't, like I said, I completely forgot to get face powders and it didn't dawn on me literally until just now that I got zero face powders out of everything. So I'm going to take the CoverGirl Queen collection in the shade Light Golden and basically just merge everything on my face together so that it's not looking crazy and I don't have any type of harsh lines. The Hills Blush Trio and they got them going for $9.99 at Marshalls Sis. So I'll go pick you up one. And it comes with three shades. Um blank. I think it's gold. No, okay. Blank pageant and cash with a K. Okay, and a stop again. 
okay Anna I see you um and I'm just gonna mix pageant and I think blank together just to get like that cute little pink shade nothing too crazy and I like how a uh, pageant has glitter in it um I know a lot of people do not like glitter products but I do I am one of those people I don't mind I don't necessarily like have to have it but um I don't mind it for my highlight I'm gonna go into this other Juvia's Place highlight that I don't know the name of and I'm going to be using that so I actually didn't spray it because I don't want it to look like Nefertiti so I didn't spray it, I just applied the product straight to my face, which honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it looks and feels a little weird because I like for my highlight to bling. Okay, so this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think below. Let me know if you guys have any of these products or you've ever tried them, wanna try them, your thoughts, what you heard, what you know, what you think below and be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video bye y'all